Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 18 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, yeah. The Knicks lost today, so I'm a little bit sad. That's all. Um, but also, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, my computer is a little bit wonky to, uh, the last couple of days, so I'm going to try to just do this video. If there are any, like, weird, you know, sounds or whatever, um, definitely let me know in the comments. But uh, I'm, I'm looking into it. You know, I'm trying my best. Uh, but the next couple of days, I'll probably just skip um, the, do an extra problem. Uh, I mean, you know, and, and I'll try to do these as fully as I can. But, you know, life is life. Uh, Alright, today's farm is 979, distribute coins in binary tree. You're given the root of a binary tree with n nodes where each node in the tree has no that value coins. There are n coins to total for the whole tree. In one move, we may choose two adjacent nodes and move one coin from one node to another. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so there are exactly n coins and, and, right, so that means that I think, I, I, I actually do remember either this one or maybe it was a similar problem. I don't remember if it was this one or exactly. But either way, the invariant, the key observation to making this problem easy, and there may be other ways to do it so that it's less easy, but the key observation to do it uh, for this problem is noticing that the invariant is that the entire thing has end coins and their end nodes, right? And that means that in a, is it pigeonhole? I don't know. If that, I, I feel like I say pigeonhole for a lot of things that may not actually be pigeonhole. And some other people also do this. But I think because, uh, and you're trying to get N and N1, that means that every path is going to be the shortest path. Um, and maybe that's, that's a weird way of phrasing it. So let me try again. Uh, what I mean by that is that, okay, let's say, um, I can't do ask you that. So let me try to draw a little bit. Hang on. I think this problem is not that bad once you make the observation uh, about what I was trying to say, but maybe not so well, right? The idea here is that, okay, so I'm going to start with a linked list, right? So you have a linked list is tree, and let's say you have two coins here, one coin here, right? Well, the, the thing is that at here, you know that this end result has to be one coin, right? So that means that no matter what, you, you're going to make one move somewhere. It doesn't matter to where, like if I have more nodes or more uh, uh, edges, it doesn't matter, right? It has to go somewhere. That's one observation, right? The op other observation is that there's a sort of, um, uh, what is that property called? I, I don't know if, if there's like a precise name, but there is a property where like, okay. <clears throat> um, let's say you want to move this one. Uh, so there's two coins here, right? We want to move this to here because, well, this has zero, so that makes sense, and it takes two space. But one thing to note is that you can actually um, decompose this and recompose this. Right? What do I mean by that? That means that this this two moves is also... In a, uh, let me change the colors real quick. <clears throat> this moving here to here is also equivalent to moving it to here once and then once, right? So, because the cost is um, additive, right? So that means that basically, yeah, uh, moving one coin two spaces is the same as moving one coin one space twice. Very obvious when you say it out loud, but once you have this idea, then now you can think about um, uh, how to approach it in a, in a total way, right? So, okay. Also, this looks kind of like uh, like I drew a person for some reason. Like, e e e like uh, hello. Hmm. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> and, it is, and he is sleeping. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right, but yeah, in any case, uh, yeah, so that's basically the idea, right? <clears throat> And and now with that idea, then now we we don't have to worry about um, we 
with that idea, we don't have to worry about exactly how the path composes, right? We can actually make another change. Let me actually bring it back real quick. Because uh, I actually wanted to say something. Because, I mean, I, I was going to just say it, but then I think having this drawing would be... Well, maybe not this drawing. <laughs> I added too much stuff. But, uh, but having this drawing would be helpful, right? Because then now... Or just having drawings in general. Because then now, you can think about it instead of moving coins from places, right? Because the idea is that if you move a coin from, well, I mean, adjacent ones, right? Then now this costs one. Well, another way to think about it is, given this edge or end this edge, how many, how many, uh, how many coins go up and down, right? So that's basically the idea, and there is this like conservation of coins, if you will, because everyone has to match up, so everything's going to cancel out, and that's basically the idea, right? Um, yeah, because the idea here is that on a child, if you need coins from the parent, you can just ask for it later. Instead of preemptively moving the coin, you could be saying, okay, I need five coins or whatever, right? So, okay. So that's basically the idea in which we'll simplify the problem a lot in terms of implementation. Um, I think I made the same observation last time. So, so I, I want to say that... Um, and I made it quickly, but I didn't know how to explain it that well, I don't think. But I, I just want to point that out because, um, and you can watch that video if you like, because um, it's probably on the YouTubes. But the reason why I say that is because I think sometimes, and not all the time, sometimes it is true, that sometimes I just know the solution. So of course I'm going to make, you know, I, I look very smart when I already know the solution. Everyone looks smart when they already know the solution. But I think like for this particular one, even when I didn't remember the solution, um, I came up with it relatively quickly. So you could check that out if you want to think about that one live. Though, though to be honest, I remember the idea of the invariant. So I didn't actually remember a lot of the things that I just talked about today. I just remember the idea and with that, I kind of be able to kind of build on it and a lot of the things that we said, right? So, okay. So yeah, so then now maybe we could do a traverse because I'm lazy at naming, right? And then now we should return the, the um, depth for this node, right? And I say depth because it just means, or you can think about it um, from the node to, or maybe, okay. Return the the uh, number of coins trend needed to transfer from the parents to this node, right? Something like that. And I, I don't know. If you notice, node never returns zero. But I, I have to think about how I want to do it exactly. <clears throat> but it's not really a big issue because um, I think we can do stuff with absolute values and, and negative numbers which is what I'm going to do but yeah so then now we traverse node.left traverse node.right right so then now if this number is positive Um, and maybe we'll just have total outside. I mean, we can actually return two things, but eh, I think for now, we'll keep it. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, we can return two things too, I, I guess. The name tuple. Okay, fine. Let's do it that way because I feel like I, I, I've been lazy a lot. Okay, so uh, yeah, we can say do, 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 do. we want to return the number of coins and also the total coins moved or something like this, right? And then we could use a name tuple. Uh, what, what do we want to name it? I think that's the thing that I always am bad at naming. But let's just call it... Uh, I'm going to call it a bucket because it's just a bucket of things. I don't know. All right. And it is... what uh, Coins and total, maybe. Eh, naming things are hard. But yeah, and so then now we want to return a bucket of zero zero, right? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so then the return is going to be, um, hmm. right? So then now if left dot coins, let's just say total is equal to zero. So then now we can do total uh, is equal to left dot total plus right dot total. And then if left 
dot coins No, I guess like that'll be included in the total. So I think that's fine. Uh, and maybe I don't even need this. Right? And then now um delta is gonna be left dot coins plus right dot coins. And keeping in mind that this is could be, these are signed numbers, right? Meaning that they could be positive and or negative. Um and then plus sub.ryu minus one because we want to keep one in the current node so that's why it's the minus one right and then yeah and then if delta is greater than zero that means that i mean as long as, as long as we're consistent it's fine as long as we're counting it because the thing that we don't want to count is that we want to double count both things right meaning if one side is plus three and then the other is minus three we don't want to add six because we only add three in is that true actually? Yeah. Actually, no, I don't think so. So yeah, so then we can just do total, we add it by absolute value of delta, and then maybe we just return bucket uh, delta total, and then we can just uh, traverse root. So then this answer, um, and we can return answer dot total, oops. Someone like that, maybe I'm off by a lot. Uh, is it that? Oops, not self, no dot value, oops. Uh, looks okay, let's give it a submit. I, I probably could, should do a bigger case, but is this always a full tree? Why is this so weird? Is it no or none? I, I always forget how they do it. Okay, whatever, let's just submit YOLO. All right, looks good, 1509 day streak. Apparently I did, wow, five years ago. So I did remember this one for some reason. I actually don't know why I remember this four and a half years ago. I mean, you could see that I basically did the, did it. That's why I was, I still have the same idea apparently because I called it balance in that it is dead and you just kind of have the moves up here and we can just do absolute value here. Um, yeah. That's why I have this one. This is going to be linear time, uh, linear space or O of H space where H is the height of the tree. Uh, but yeah, but that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Was this from a contest? I don't even remember anymore. It was so long ago. No, it was not from When did I do it then? Hmm. Why did I remember this? Or maybe it's a similar form. Maybe it's not this one. Even though I did do this one. So I don't know. But uh, uh, my memory is really bad. So yeah. Old guy Larry, but that's what I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, do your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.